I've been looking for ways to add some rhythmic variations to my modular synth patches. So I decided to build this burst generator. I'm calling it the mini burst. It takes in a single trigger input which would then start a series of pulses. The number of pulses is set from 1 to 8 using this pulse count knob. The timing of the pulses can be set using an external clock through this jack or an internal clock that can be set using this time knob. This circuit is based roughly on Ken Stone's burst generator from his cat girl synth. The main sort of brain of it is the CD4017 decade counter IC. It's the same chip that you'd usually see in a baby 8 sequencer. Just like most of my other builds, I built this circuit using point-to-point -point wiring first, along with a 3D printed panel. I've actually been gigging with it for a while now, and I liked having it a lot, so I decided to turn it into a PCB-based module. With the PCB build, I was able to shrink the module to 6 HP. I designed the panel art using Inkscape. I drew the labels by hand, trying to stick to the theme of the previous build. I then brought it into KiCad where I finished off the layout of the actual board. Finally, I sent over my files to PCBWay, who's always been my partner for PCB manufacturing. You can now actually have the boards printed through PCBWay's shared project page. Since I designed this module using surface mount components, it can get a little tricky to solder. But you can use PCBWay's assembly service to do that for you. If you do, you'll only have to solder some pots and jacks and some other through-hole components, which makes things a little easier. Again, thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this project. After a week or so of waiting, I received the boards. Of course, I ran into some issues. The footprints I used for the op amps and the CD4017 were too wide. So I fixed this immediately and then sent over my new files to PCBWay for printing again. After some more waiting, I received the new boards and I tested them right away. This time, it worked great. Overall, I'm happy with how the module is now. I just wish it had more CV inputs, especially on the step control, which could be great for performances and generative patches. But that can be a later project. I mainly design these modules for my own personal use, but I also release my files as open source. You can find my documentations for it on my website. There you can see some of my testing results, the schematic diagram, and links to where you can get my files. I also have an interactive build of materials, which I personally use when I build these modules. If you like what I do and would like to support my work, please consider donating through my coffee page. It will help me a lot. As always, here's a little jam I made using the module. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.